Hello everybody. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon, uh, just before four o'clock, I believe. And you can't really see it, but uh, the lawn is finally starting to come in. Um, it uh, needed the extra 80 degree temperatures to really kind of germinate. So uh, uh, we've got everything all ready to go. Uh, you can see that green tinge, and when that happens, just give it water and let it go. But we are in the gazebo now, and I'm going to pan upward and you're going to see a brand new feature, which is our ceiling fan and light. All the comforts of home. Is there no end to this guy's talent? Actually, there is, because I didn't do this. Uh, plumbing will get you in trouble. Electricity will get you killed. So with that philosophy in hand, we hired Alan Lang Electric. Uh, a really, really, <laughs> just a wonderful uh, guy. He knows his stuff. and. Uh, we added a, a brace. You can see the two by fours that go from one side and there's the electrical conduit all the way to the other. It is uh, bolted in. It ain't going anywhere. And the uh, cap that you see is attached to a two by six, which spans the, uh, the distance between the two two by fours, which is probably more solid than you see in most homes. There's absolutely no movement on that fan at all. And it does hang from a little nine inch rod, which is pretty cool. And that means that uh, Alan balanced the uh, blades just perfectly. This is on the second speed. Um, we'll probably add a, a little decorative pull. The short pull is for the fan. And the tall pull right there, which is bouncing in the wind, is for the light. And the light is an LED light. And from what I understand, uh, the bugs do not like LED lights. And it's a school, uh, school board or school building, uh, schoolyard, whatever the heck that is, light, which is really kind of classic. So it fits actually with this uh, uh, style of gazebo. It's not Victorian. It's uh, more of a craftsman type, uh, and craftsman cottage, if you will. So all I have to do now is I've got to, got to still trim out uh, all of the screens. We'll do that one by one. We're trying to figure out the best way to do it, but believe it or not, I think I just figured out the best way to handle this. But anyhow, there's our, our ceiling pan, and it really pumps out a lot of air. This is only on the slow, uh, middle speed. The fast speed really kind of blows you out of here. So that's the long and the short of it. You'll see that hole at the top. That is going to uh, house on the top of that the capper, which is a hexagon uh, two by six, and there's a flat board on the top. The schooner will be mounted to the top of that. It's all ready to go. We recut it. Uh, it was a little bit too long, and therefore it hung down too far on the ceiling. And lo and behold, the top of the metal bracket that holds all the 2x4s together uh, uh, was sticking out. So it took three inches off. It's now about uh, an inch and a half, two inches higher than that, which will be perfect. So I re-stained it, re-polyurethaned it, or pardon me, spar varnish. It's all dry, but we're going to put that in next week and uh, just give it a long time to cure so we'll be ready to go. I do have to put uh, some type of a cover on there because they're expecting rain sometime midweek and you can see that hole that's there and I don't want rain to get in. But it's real simple. I'll just take a, a bag of sand and put a uh, plastic, piece of plastic underneath it and then drop the bag of sand on top and we'll be ready to go. But anyhow, there's the uh, next installation, but we're coming real close. I'd say we're about 95% done, maybe even 98% done with the gazebo. And uh, that's about all, and I'll take some more videos. But we now have electric, by the way, and let me show you here. So we do this really slowly so don't get sick, and there's our electrical outlet. So now we can add all sorts of doodads here, uh, maybe stereo, uh, who knows? But it's meant to be out here and uh, very pleasant. And I'm standing right underneath it right now, and uh, it's very, the uh, fan is giving a lot of air, so that's pretty good. All for now, and one last time, by the way, ta-da! If you see what I see, there is the new bridge. Yay! It looks kind of bare, hidden underneath there, but uh, almost looks like it's got stair steps because of the way the uh, sun hits the 4x4 post coming through. But uh, it worked out pretty well, and we did add the chain, so we're all done. So anyhow, that's it from uh, Woodwind Acres, the gazebo at Woodwind Acres, and there is our ceiling fan. Done.